it is me and my Akio T. And today I am very happy to say that my wizarding trunk has come okay. Although we cannot judge this book by its cover because its covering has been swapped out for another. Yes, um, according to the email that the wizarding trunk sent, their usual bi-monthly boxes, someone put a Cofundus charm on the deliverer because they never arrived to them, and so instead our bi-monthly boxes are in the high security vault box, which is still pretty darn cool. Although I am disappointed because I believe they said that that one had been themed, the box itself had been themed around the theme, so I'm kind of bummed that we do not get to have it, but I'm excited to have a cool looking high security vault box. So. Without any more further ado, let us get into our wonderful Headmaster box, shall we? Alohomora. Okay. If you are unfamiliar with Wizarding Trunk, they make such amazing products. Ooh, there's everything in there. Um, they are just about nearly prop quality, like really, really top-notch stuff. And um, so this is my second um, bi-monthly box. I have gotten the Keep Collecting box before. That one was absolutely amazing. Thank you, Peter, for such an amazing box. But now I'm excited to do my second official box. And this box was themed around Professor Dumbledore. Ooh, so first up, I think it is, ooh, we get two something somethings. Okay, so I'm going to open this one first because it looks amazing. <gasps> Ooh. Ah. <gasps> oh, cool. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, for one, this is the back. And it's printed to look like the ink from the front has gone through. So that is a detail I'm in love with. And this is a poster of the life cycle of the phoenix. It is gilded. Look at that gold shine. It is so absolutely stunning. And I cannot wait to find a frame to hang this up in because that is just beautiful. I mean, the rebirth, burning day, adolescence, maturity. That is so beautiful. And of course, it makes me think of Fox, my f absolute favorite bird. Next, we have another um, paper item. I think this might be our next um, book cover, maybe? I think so. Oh, and it's Phoenix related too. Okay, I'll let you see it first. Tell me, is it beautiful? Is it amazing? Is it enchanting? For the greater good. It's so pretty. I think this one, going by the number at the top, I think this is supposed to fit Order of the Phoenix, um, book number five. So these are sized for the UK editions of Harry Potter, which I still need to get myself a set of so I can um, put these covers on them or find some similar books that are the same size. But that one, again, beautiful. The gold is just stunning. Okay, we're two for two now. Next, oh, there's so many things. Should I go for a big brown box? Should I go for a fancy little box? Should I go for a little bag? I'm gonna go for this little baggie right here. It looks like it's something kind of silky. Okay, if I can get this bag open, that is. Ooh, okay, so I think this might be a pillowcase. What do we have on here? Ooh, pretty. Ooh, we have a gorgeous moon, and it is in maroon and gold, so kind of like Gryffindor colors. Okay, that is really, really nice, and really satiny, silky, smooth, and shimmery. Very nice, so it looks like it will hold a um, standard square little throw pillow, so that will look really cool. I think it might look cool in this chair. What do you think? Yes? A nice, cozy reading pillow. Neck... Ooh, I just spoiled something for my... Okay, I spoiled something by seeing it, so I'm about to take it out now. 
Oh. Okay. So if this is thinking what I think it's thinking, I think this is themed after, I think it's in the first book, I can't remember which, but Dumbledore has a watch with many faces, but it tells time differently. And I think this is it. And it pops. <gasps> and it's actually ticking. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this so much. It it looks so antique and beautiful and magical. And then it comes on this chain. So I guess if you want to be fashionable, you could wear it. But this is so cool. And the fact that it actually is working right now is beautiful. And look, there's like little tiny planets on the inside. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm going to put that on right now because I want to feel magical. Ah. Okay, next. I think we have a pin. Oh, we do. And if I can just figure out how to open it. There it is. Okay. So they've been doing a series of portrait pins. If you saw my last box, the Herbology, it was Professor Sprout, and this one, it's it's Dumbledore's sister. I'm not that I, I know her name, but I'm not gonna say it because it seems like every time I say her name, I pronounce it wrong. But it is Dumbledore's. Oh, come on, focus. There's a face on the portrait camera. You can focus on the face. There we go. It is beautifully done. It is very nice and heavy. I love the frame. Like, just look at the little details here in the corner. It is so nice and heavy and beautiful and really, really sweet and perfectly fitting for Dumbledore. Okay, next we have a plain brown box. And good things come in brown paper packages tied up with strings. Is this going to be one of my favorite things? It feels heavy. Maybe a potion? be cool if it was a potion. <gasps> Ooh, am I right? Is this a potion? <gasps> Ooh, of course. For the founder of all those different uses of dragon's blood, we have a vial of dragon's blood, Hungarian dragon's blood to be precise, from the pure blood apothecary, which is um, the wizarding trunks, um, kind of like potions makers. Ooh, and it has beautiful swirliness going on in there. I love it. Wait, there's more at the top. I'm shaking it more than I want to, but I'm going to do it so that it's more magical. Uh, and I love how it's tied up with twine and then sealed really well with wax. That is beautiful. It will go well with, I have a draft of disillusionment. So having those two swirl side by side, very magical. I'm going to put those on my shelf right now. <laughs> Ooh, so many things. Okay, I'm going to take this big box and set it aside for now and save that one for last so that we can see some of the stuff in the bottom. Ooh! Dumbledore and I have similar tastes because here we have a recipe for sherbet lemon candies. That is so cool. So I'm just gonna, if it will focus, hold it right there. And then like this. So that if you want to make these candies yourself, you now have the recipe for it. So that is wonderful. And it's from the kitchen from AD for Albus Dumbledore. Very nice. I'll set that right there. Ooh, more things I'm gonna set aside so I can get to the papers in the bottom. We have four boxes to go, and these are wonderful papers. Da, da, da. Okay, so I have the papers out. Oh, cool. So the first paper is a print of Dumbledore's office. Very beautiful and magical. We have a pensive right here, some of his um, brass instruments, moving pictures. And if you look right there, that is the coolest detail. 
if you see that watch, they made it be exactly the same as the watch they put in the box. That is such a tiny little detail, but it just makes this box so much cooler. Um, okay, sorry, advanced potion making. You're going to get covered up by Dumbledore's office because that is gorgeous. Next. Ooh, okay. So I saw an... an another email that the last magical creatures page that I got in the herbology box, um, the tear along the side was apparently on the wrong side of the page. And so they were nice enough to all the people that had, um, purchased the herbology boxes to put another one in the box so that it is correct when we put it in the file. So that is very thoughtful of them. It's something they didn't need to do. It was a little detail. But they decided to do it anyway, and that's really good customer service and thinking about, hey, people might be upset with that. So that is really good. Well done, wizarding trunk. So, ooh. Okay, so our next magical creatures page is the Chillin'. And we, re we remember that from um, Secrets of a Dumbledore, is that little creature right there. And on the back, we have a Quintaris, I think. So that is a magical creature that I have never heard of. So that is interesting. I cannot wait to read about that. And who knew we could have two things starting with a Q in one page. Oh, they did include it. So we have a picture, the sleeping Dumbledore picture. I didn't know if they would. I, th I thought of that when I thought Headmaster, and that is so nice that they included that. Oh. Although the only thing I would have to say is this paper is just a tiny bit on the thin side. I wish it was a bit more stiff like this print, but I guess, well, no, you wouldn't technically put it in a frame since it's already a picture of a frame. I don't know. This It's just a tiny bit too thin for my liking, but... It still looks absolutely wonderful, and it is stirring up the feels and making me feel a little flumped. Okay, okay, so this is our spoiler card, so I'm going to set that aside for now and go back to our fabulous boxes. Okay, so we have another little box here. So many boxes. So far, so very good. Ooh, it looks like something else is glass. Bubbly wrapped. We have another potion-like item. We have a memory. Let's see if I can swirl up the memory there. And this one says the orphanage. Oh, this, this glass is really nice and delicate. And it just has the slightest bit of color, and you can kind of see the threads floating around in there. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. It's so delicate that I am amazed how well it shipped. Just gotta set it there and hope it doesn't fall off, because I'd be very sad if that broke. Okay, next. Ooh, we have a box that says Unlocking Magic. Is this a key? Do we have Dumbledore's key? <gasps> Wait, ooh! Okay, that's really cleverly done. So we have the griffin that is at the entrance of Dumbledore's office, and then the base of the key is the winding staircase. That is so cool and such a great um, visualization. And then there's another little griffin here at the bottom. Ah, oh, Sherbert Lemon. I want to go to Dumbledore's office right now. I'm going to set that one right there. Okay, next. Ooh. What should we do? Should we go for the fancy box here or the heavy box? Fancy? Heavy? Heavy? Let's go with heavy this time. Okay, save the fancy box for last and the heavy box right now. Ooh, it's something wrapped in styrofoam. Okay. 
I can't wait to uh, unlock what's inside here. Ooh, and speaking of unlocking perks, um, my channel memberships are now live. So if you want to help support my channel and all the interesting magical things that I do, please feel free to join my channel. There's three different levels and they're between 5, 10, and 15. So if you want to help support my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you want to give this channel a big thumbs up for this video and leave a comment, that greatly helps the algorithm and helping other um, muggles be able to see this video. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> you are not going to believe this. It is the pensive. It is so beautifully done. The detail is absolutely amazing. Um, I was a little nervous when, for their first ceramic item, the Mimbulus Mimbletonia. I didn't think that turned out very well. It was cool, but a little cartoony. This came out absolutely amazingly. Um, if you have a Goblet of Fire shelf, this is definitely the item to be on it. I mean, just look at the shimmer in the mirrors. That is amazing. Um, Draft of Disillusionment's gonna go away, and that's gonna go right there now. Okay, that is cool. Okay. Now, last, but certainly not least, we have our Velvety Magical Box. So let us see what is inside the box. Would you like to be first? It is Styrofoam. Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Oh, cool! So we have an award, and it is the Order of Merlin, first class. For acts of courage or great magical achievement. <gasps> Is there something on the back? No, it's plain. I thought it would be cool if on the back it said Albus Dumbledore, but they actually have it. Are we able? <gasps> I can, you can wear it if you wanted to. I think it's meant for display, but I kind of took it apart. But if you want to be, oh, this would be a great um, Dumbledore cosplay. Because then you can just wear it and look fancy. <gasps> For special services to the Wizarding World, I am now an Order of Merlin First Class. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, and I have not won Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile. Okay. Okay, that is absolutely gorgeous. Very nice and heavy. The ribbon is nice and smooth and very high quality. And so far... I think this box has been amazing. Let's take a quick sneak peek at our spoiler card here. So I'll just go through it like that. Doo -doo -doo. And then the other side. We have recognition to another unboxer in the wizarding family and next month's or the next bi-monthly theme is Magical Artifacts, so that'll be really cool. And shout out to Kayla Christine. I will leave her information down below because she is the editor's choice for this box. So congratulations to you. And yeah, what does everybody think of this box? Is it amazing? Is it incredible? What item is your favorite? Please leave a comment down below. Um, and if you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos again. And if you want to support my channel, feel free to become one of my members. There's lots of fun goodies, like I said before, and it will be greatly appreciated. So, without any more further ado, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!